Imagine creating a professional poster, a full slide deck, and even a flowchart, all with a single free AI model. Well, today we're diving into GLM 4.5, a powerful Chinese AI model that's not only free, but also rivals some of the biggest names. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step use cases from creating posters, presentations, data analysis, and flowcharts, so you can see exactly how to use it in your own work. So what is GLM 4.5? It's an AI model built by Zhipu AI, one of China's leading AI labs. It has 355 billion parameters, and it's a hybrid reasoning model. But what makes it different is this. It's not just a chatbot. It acts more like an AI agent. It plans, searches the web, pulls images, and then actually builds outputs like posters or slide decks all in one go. So in order to try it out, you need to go to chat.z.ai. I'll leave you the link in the description below. And once you've signed in, this is the interface you're going to see. Right at the top, you can see the different models. So we're on GLM 4.5. That's the model we're working with. And if you look at the model list, you'll see there's GLM 4.5V, which is a new visual understanding and analysis model. Then we have our usual box. And under that, you'll notice two options. And you can upload up to 10 files, your data sets, PDFs, or notes, and it will analyze them. You also have tools which has their web search and AutoThink, which you can switch on so the model decides when to use deeper reasoning or when to give you a quick reply. Then along the bottom bar, you'll see the shortcut buttons, AI slides if you want to generate presentations, full stack for building applications, magic design for posters and visuals, write code if you're doing programming tasks, and search info for pulling in fresh information from the web. On the left hand side, you have your chat history and where you can start a new chat. So let's start with our first use case. Here we are going to use it for data analysis. So I'm going to upload this data set. It tracks job satisfaction across three teams before training, one month after, and three months after. And I'm going to add a prompt here that says, analyze these findings and give me the full results and create the corresponding charts. And the most important thing here was that we need to activate the magic design button so that we get the visual output. So look at how amazing this has turned out. It looks clean and professional and with each page structured really nicely. What's impressive is that all of this came from simply giving the model the data set and a very simple prompt. It automatically generated the key findings and broke it down into the relevant pages and then matched each one with the right type of visualization. So on this first page, it set the stage really clearly. You can see it's pulled out the key findings at the top in a neat box. And then at the bottom, it's given the main statistics, the number of teams analyzed and the time periods and the overall average improvement. It's simple, well laid out. On the second page, it's come back with a line chart showing the average satisfaction score trends. You can immediately see how each team score rise over time, which makes the impact of training really clear. Then underneath it, it shows the key insights and neatly summarizes the main takeaways, like which team improved the most and when the biggest gains were made. And on the third page, there's a clear bar chart for team A and the percentage shifts are highlighted neatly underneath. Okay, so again, the same for the fourth page. And then here we get an amazing final page on conclusions and insights. At the top, it clearly shows the main percentages. Then underneath, we have the key findings and comparisons. And finally, it wraps up with a set of recommendations in a bold highlighted block. And so you can see it's done a great job with this and really made the analysis easy to follow. Okay, so for our next use case, we are going to use the AI slides to create our presentation. I'm going to upload this research paper on digital transformation in the SME context. And I'm going to add a prompt that says, create a four slide presentation summarizing the main findings of the uploaded research paper on digital transformation in the SME context. Each slide should clearly cover the main areas, research overview, key findings, discussion and conclusion. Keep the content concise and visually appealing. Then we're going to send that and you'll see here, it starts its thinking process and then it will produce the final output. Okay, so let's play this so we can look at the full presentation. Okay, so here on the first slide, it's given us a clear research overview. At the top, you can see the title of the paper. And here on the side, we've got the research objectives and context, theoretical framework and methodology. What I like is that it's kept it short and focused. If we go to the second slide, you can see it's pulled out the key findings and presented them in a very clean, structured way. It's not overloaded with text and it highlights the main points like relationships, capabilities and mediating effects. And I also like how it's 
chosen a relevant picture here on the right, which gives a nice visual touch and breaks up the text. And it's also showing us the statistical significance here. Then we've got the discussion slide. And again, a very nice layout. And for the final slide, we have the conclusions and implications. It's giving us the main contributions in a clear box, adding another picture to make the slide more engaging, and then laying out the practical, theoretical, and future research implications in a neat structure. And if you come up here and click on edit, you can actually select which parts you want to change and you can make your changes and save your work and instantly have your presentation. So now let's move on to our next use case. Here we are going to ask it to create a poster for us on the latest AI and future developments. So I'm going to select magic design here and I'm going to enter this prompt that says design a poster on AI latest and future developments with a timeline from 2015 to 2035. Use tech inspired colors, blues, purples, metallic tones and interesting icons to illustrate milestones, highlight key themes, show current trends, near future applications and long term possibilities in a clean modern layout. OK, so let's look at the output again. I'm going to play this so we can see it clearly. And again, look at how amazing this design of the poster is. You can see it's done a really good job of laying out the historical AI developments in a timeline format at the top. It highlights the big milestones like AlphaGo and Transformers. And then underneath, it's neatly broken down year by year with key events. I also like how it's chosen a strong tech color scheme with purples and blues, which gives it a futuristic feel. It's a nice modern design and very easy to follow. Then here we have the future AI predictions as it's laid out as a timeline again. But looking ahead from 2025 to 2035, we've got the key milestones like AI agents, home robotics, AI tutors, AGI, and so on. The purple highlight box in the middle adds extra detail with key predictions for 2035, which is a nice touch. Then at the bottom, it rounds it off with key themes in AI development, using separate boxes to break down things like agentic AI, multimodal systems, and societal impact. So overall, a really nice design for this. OK, so for our last use case, we're going to get it to create a flow chart. So again, I'm going to activate our magic design button and then I'm going to add this prompt here that says generate a business flow chart that guides a manager on whether to adopt an AI solution. Keep it simple with four main steps. And I've laid out the steps here, the business goals, data situations, costs and resources, next action. And I've said, render it as a clean flow chart with boxes for each step and arrows showing the flow, ending with the four outcomes. OK, and let's send that. So look at how fantastic this output is. The boxes are neatly stacked and the arrows guide you step by step from business goals down to the final action. It's color coded at the end with options like adopt, pilot, prepare data or delay, which makes the outcomes instantly clear. The design is clean, logical and easy to follow. And it's something that I definitely use to create high quality flowcharts. So that was GLM 4.5, an amazing free AI model that, as we've seen, can create posters, analyze data, build presentations, and even design flowcharts, all in just a few minutes. And I'd really encourage you to try it out for your own projects. So if you found this useful, give the video a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next tutorial. And let me know in the comments what kind of project you'd like me to test GLM 4.5 on next. So hope you found this useful and see you in the next one.